Hey guys, it's PrimeScore from Shockbyte, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Archon for your Minecraft server. And so, you ask, what is Archon? And I'll answer, it stands for Remote Control. So, you'll, you will be able to remotely control your server console with Archon. So, let's do it. Our first step, we want to go enable Archon. And so, on the left-hand side of your server panel, we're going to click on Files and go to Config Files. And then under here, we're going to click server settings, which is the server.properties file. Then in here, we're going to go find uh, Archon, which is all the way at the bottom. We want to enable it, so we're going to set this to true. Okay. And then we're going to save that. Next step, we're going to go back to our server panel on the main page. Go to the files tab. And then close that tab because we want to go to the advanced tab and click on additional ports. And then in here, uh, you can add an additional port or, or not, but uh, you should have two already set up for you. And so just copy one that you haven't used before and go back. If you don't know how to uh, create an additional port, uh, we have a tutorial on our YouTube and you can go check that out because it's awesome and you'll learn a lot from it. So once you've copied your port, we're going to need to restart the server real quick so that... Um, since we enabled the Archon uh, section in our server.properties, it's going to need to generate uh, two new uh, sections in that file. One of them is going to be the Archon port, and then the other one is going to be the Archon password. And we're going to take the port we just copied, and we're going to input it into the Archon port section in that file. And then we're going to have to make a new password when doing so. And so... Our server is done restarting. We're going to go to files, config files, and back to server settings, which is server.properties. Scroll down until you find archon.port, and we're going to paste in the port that we earlier copied. And then under archon.password, you're going to create a secure password that isn't easy to guess and save it. In this case, I'm doing a super easy one uh, so that I can easily remember it. Uh, for the tutorial however i will obviously won't be keeping it and it's going to be like an 18 trillion digit code um, with like dollar signs and whatnot so you just can't easily guess it for security reasons anyways so we're gonna go back and then we're gonna have to restart our server one more time and then our archon should uh, be ready to go and i'll show you it working with a program called mc archon that you can download in the link below in the description section. Okay, so my server is done restarting and I'm gonna show you how it works with MC Archon. Um, so once you have MC Archon installed, you can uh, hurry up and launch it. And then we're gonna need to enter our credentials. So first we're gonna enter the host. Our host is just the IP of our server. So I'm gonna copy that and paste it in. Do not enter the port of your server because we do not need that whatsoever because we're going to enter the port next. However, we're not going to enter your server port. We're going to enter the additional port that you copied and put in archon.port in your server.properties file. And mine was 3033. I'm going to enter that. And then you're going to enter your extremely secure password. And now I'm logged in. So it's perfect. If I head over to my console real quick, I can type in commands here. So let's say I want to save everything. I typed in save dash all and it says it's saving. And then we can see on here, uh, Archon connection from you know where, and it's saved. So uh, that's how you set up Archon for your Minecraft server. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask or leave it in the comments section below. Please head over to Shockbyte and send us a ticket if all else fails. Anyways, thank you for watching. But you